Hey guys, Devin here. I'm going to be taking you through the setup of the Facebook login today. Uh, we're going to be starting off from our site dashboard here, and we'll go into the settings area. Once we're in here, we'll select third party login. And we're going to be focusing on the Facebook app ID at this time. Uh, in order to use our simplest method, I would suggest clicking the help me with this tab. From this screen, you will need to uh, pretty much follow the first three steps here. Um, so the first thing you need to do is log into Facebook. If you are already logged into Facebook, you can go ahead and select uh, the Create Developer account and skip step one. Uh, I'm not logged into Facebook, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Once you're logged in, it is going to take you to your main uh, site, so you can actually go ahead and close that out. Come back and hit the help me with this one more time. Once you've done that, you can hit the create developer account button. It's going to ask you if you accept the uh, terms and the policies. Uh, you can go ahead and read through those and accept them. Uh, you'll do that by flipping this switch and hitting the register button. Once you've done that, it will tell you that uh, you were successfully registered as a Facebook developer and you can hit done. It's actually going to forward us to this screen, uh, and it's, it's going to be easiest if we actually close this out, and one more time we go back and hit the help me with this button. Once we've done that, we are now on to step three, so we can scroll down and hit step three. For our display name, uh, I imagine most of us will probably use the name of our service. This is going to be the name that displays when it shows who is requesting to access their data. Uh, I would go ahead and make sure that you set your contact email to an accurate email as well so that uh, if for some reason Facebook needs to contact you regarding your uh, app at any time they're able to do so. Uh, you can then select your business category from this drop down and hit the create app ID button. It will oftentimes ask you to do a verification. Uh, sometimes it does uh, skip, skip past this. Um, but either way, uh, our next screen should look like this. Uh, once we're on this screen, our next step is going to be um, going through setting up this Facebook login, actually. Uh, so it is right here. This is the first option. We're going to go ahead and click on Get Started. We can actually leave all the default settings on. The only thing that we really need to do here is in this field, uh, we need to whitelist your domain. Uh, this does need to be put in very specifically. Uh, you will need to put in the HTTPS, and you will also need to put in the www. At that point, you can go ahead and put in your URL, and you can save the changes. Once that's done, uh, you are actually good to go on this page. Uh, the next thing that I would suggest is going to the settings tab here. And from the settings tab, you'll be able to select an app icon. You do have to match this uh, image size perfectly in order for Facebook to accept the image. So I would suggest uh, getting yourself set up with a file that is 1024 by 1024. Uh, finding that file on your computer and saving that. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and save changes, uh, and you'll now they, your customers will now see the logo when they do uh, basically use the Facebook login the first time. Uh, the next thing that you're going to need to do at this point is uh, come in here to the app review area, and you will want to make it public. Um, currently, it will be default to in development. Uh, in order for your customers to be able to access it and for it to work for them, you will need to turn it on. You need to confirm that you want to do that. And once it's public, uh, you can go ahead and copy this. This is going to be your app ID. You can just click on it. It will go ahead and copy it to your clipboard. You can go to your dashboard uh, of your site, and you can paste the app ID in there. Once you've done that, you can save all your settings. And then let's check it out on the site. Alright, so if you did set up uh, that app display image, it is going to display here 
Uh, so rather than that generic Facebook app logo, you would actually have your logo if you do uh, go ahead and upload that. Other than that, it's going to show them what information they're allowing you to access. It will make it clear to them that it doesn't let you post to their Facebook page. They can accept it. And once that's done, uh, it's going to go ahead and log them in and set them up with an account automatically. Uh, and once they log out, uh, if they've already previously pre-approved the Facebook login, it's extremely easy for them to log in again. They just click log in with Facebook and they're good to go.